This is the Morning Swim Show for Tuesday, December 22nd, 2009. I'm your host, Peter Bush. 2008 Open Water Olympian and high school standout Chloe Sutton announced late last week that she would forego her chance to swim in college and she turned pro at the Chesapeake Elite Pro-Am. And that is where our own Garrett McCaffrey talked in depth with Sutton about her decision. So Chloe, when you were making this pretty big decision to go professional, Take me through your pros and cons list. I'm assuming you had some right. pros and cons and kind of weighed those out. Take me through Definitely. some of the pros and take me through some of the cons. Okay, well, it, it's been a really long process. I mean, we've been thinking about it and discussing it for a really long time. Um, for my whole life, my dad has been in the military. We've moved about every year and a half. Um, like, in seventh grade, I remember I was at one school one school for the first part, a different school for the next part, and another school for the next part. And I was never able to stay with a coach for more than, you know, I think my longest was about two years, shortest probably about six months. And, you know, I'd fall in love with the coach, I'd get into a really good, you know, rhythm with them, you know, they'd figure me out, they'd figure out how I taper, because, you know, I'm, sometimes my tapers are weird and stuff, and um, it would just be really heartbreaking to have to leave them and start completely over with a new coach, and have the new coach try new things on me, and things that I knew didn't work, but I had to let, you know, the coach do what he knew. And, um, you know, finally I got to Coach Rose, and he's figured me out, you know, completely more than any coach has ever before. Um, you know, he knows that I don't react well to yelling, you know, I do better when he just kind of, like one day I was really mad at him, and he's like, I'll give you ten dollars if you, if you keep a straight face right now, and, you know, he made me laugh, and um, I just really want to be able to stay with the coach for, you know, as long as I can. And um, Coach Rose has been such a blessing to my family and, you know, my swimming career that I just, I want to stay with him. And, you know, it's, it's a hard decision to decide to give up that eligibility because, you know, the scholarship is a lot of money. But, you know, I, I started an independent study program in about ninth grade and, um, you know, education is really important to me. but. I do better when I can just focus on one thing and I have this huge dream in front of me and I really want to accomplish what I set out to do when I started swimming. I want to you know, become the best, I want to get the world records and I want to get the gold medals and I just feel like the best way for me to do that is to focus on swimming, do it for as long as I can and then focus on that later on, you know, just kind of do one thing at a time, focus on it and accomplish what I want to do. Is it something your parents supported from the very beginning? Did they, did they kind of push you towards that? Because you're going to need probably a lot of support from the, uh, the, the parents in order to pull this off. Definitely. Um, I mean, everybody has been really supportive. You know, Coach Rose is supportive. My parents are supportive. It was, it was all my decision. But, you know, they said, you know, no matter what you choose to do, we'll make sure that you get every opportunity you can. And they've done that my entire life, you know. We moved to Mission Viejo without my, my dad so that we could be with him and you know we I moved my family to Mission Viejo so that we could be with them it wasn't for my dad's job or anything so um, you know they've always been there for me and they've always helped me out and um, they'll be there for me when it comes time to go to college so it'll be fine was there anything on the other side of the list on maybe the con side with going pros that you're still kind of like oh I really wish I could do that too I mean obviously you can't right. have your cake and eat it too but what is there anything on the other side of the list that you're, you feel like you're kind of missing out on? Well, a lot of people, you know, I talk to a lot of people about it, discuss it, and um, they say that the college experience is something you'll never get. And um, that's something hard that you have to give up. But I travel the world. You know, I go all these amazing places with the teams, and I feel like the Team USA that I get to be a part of is a lot like a college team. You know, we're all very close and we all cheer for each other. And I feel like I get that experience there, but I mean, I'm not a partier, you know. You can ask anybody on my team, I'm not. You know, like, a lot of people just, you know, like, I'm just a type of personality that they, you know, I just don't think college would be that fun for me. Like, I would focus on what I need to focus on and I would, I would do great there, I'd flourish, but, um, you know, I don't know. I mean, another thing I'm going to miss out on is, you know, competing in CAA, but I'm not a short course swimmer, so it's just, you know, it was a long, hard decision to put everything together, but in the end, I know I made the right decision. When you were making the decision, did you rely on any of those USA teammates? I mean, girls like Katie, 
um, Ariana Cooker's kind of dabbled in NC2A and, and then uh, came back. And then you've got girls like Dagny and Elizabeth, who you were on the team with this summer, that decided to take their NC2A right. careers. Um, they, they decided this fall to go that route. Definitely. Did you talk to any of those swimmers and kind of throw some ideas off them? Definitely. I mean, Dagny is in kind of the same place as me um, in Rome. We had She was my roommate. We had a lot of talks about, you know, she. I have a personal trainer who I love and who works with me. and. She has a personal trainer that she loves and who she's been with her whole life. And, you know, she was skeptical about going off to a college because her and I are very similar personalities. Um, yeah, she's going to Auburn, I believe. And, um, you know, we discussed a lot of it, but, you know, she's a sprinter and a short course swimmer. So I think she did make the right decision going to Auburn. I think she'll have so much fun there, you know. But, um, yeah, I talked, I've talked to Elizabeth about it. She was my roommate at the Olympics. You know, I've talked to, like, Megan Gendrick. She was my roommate no, at actual the Olympics, and she passed it up, too. And, you know, we, I talked to her about it. I've, I, you know, I've, I've run off, you know, examples of other people and just seen what they kind of felt. And, you know, because I've never been to college, so I can't say anything about, you know, how I would do that or what it would be like. But, you know, just talking to people and getting their perspective and kind of taking my time thinking about it, you know, they've all helped me out. From a sponsorship side, obviously you're winning some money here at the Elite Pro-Am this weekend, but has, uh, I know Mission Viejo is a tier team, has right. tier come to you and, and showed support, or are there anybody, you know, that's that's asked if they could sponsor you? Um, not, like, officially, um, you know, we, we are in, we've, we've been talking and stuff like that, but, um, I mean, I didn't say anything about going pro until, you know, when I talked to you, and, um, I pretty much decided for sure, like, last Wednesday, you know. I, it was a very kind of, like, I'd been thinking for, for a while. Now I have this opportunity where I could just take money. You know, I talked to Coach Rose about it. He said, well, if you know that you're going to go pro, why not just take money at this meet? So that's just kind of how it happened. Christmas and, cash. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it'll pay for my taxes. <laughs> why not? But um, I haven't, like, this, like, I don't know. When I get home from this, I'll probably start talking to Coach Rose about either getting an agent or... You know, figuring out a way to do something like that. So great stuff. Well, I know you have the 1650 coming up, and yeah. hopefully, it's a continuation of PRs across the board this weekend. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for taking the time, Chloe. Thank really you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. And that's it for our show today. I'm Peter Bush, reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.